everyone we will now continue with our discussion in article 294 a robbery with violence against or intimidation of persons so what are the acts punishable under this article first when by reason or occasion of robbery the crime of homicide is committed so what is the special complex felony committed here it is robbery with homicide take note that homicide here is in the consummated stage there is no such crime as robbery with attempted homicide or robbery with frustrated homicide as discussed in the case of people versus Granado lagmay october 29 1992. we have this latin maxim here that expresso unius exclusio alterus or what is not included is deemed excluded and paragraph one only includes crime of homicide in its consummated stage. Paragraph 2. When robbery is accompanied by rape or intentional mutilation or arson. So what are the special complex crimes committed here? These are robbery with rape, robbery with intentional mutilation, robbery with arson. So we now proceed to paragraph 3. When by reason or on occasion of such robbery, any of the physical injuries resulting in insanity, imbecility, impotency, or blindness in, is inflicted. Take note that the physical injuries here are limited to those that result in insanity, imbecility, impotency, or blindness. So what is the felony committed, com, the, the special crime committed here? It is robbery with physical injuries. So, the simple robbery under paragraph 5 may cover physical injuries not included in paragraphs 2, 3, and 4. Thus, when less serious physical injuries or slight physical injuries are inflicted upon the offended party in the occasion of a robbery, the accused may be prosecuted for and convicted of robbery under paragraph 5 as in the case of Jumar Ablasa. Petitioner versus people in GR number 217722. What do we mean here? It means here that if the physical injuries are not those that are mentioned as insanity, imbecility, impotency, or blindness, and that what only results are slight physical injuries, here the offender should be prosecuted only for the felony of robbery and not for the complex for the special complex crime of robbery with physical injuries now let's proceed to paragraph 4 when by reason or on occasion of robbery any of the physical injuries regulation and the loss of the use of speech or the power to hear or to smell or the loss of an eye a hand foot arm or leg or the loss of of the use of any such member or incapacity for the work in which the injured person is therefore habitually engaged is inflicted so in paragraph 4 again the physical injuries are are limited to the loss of senses like the loss of hearing smell smelling or the loss of an eye a hand or foot an arm or leg or the loss of any such member of the body so what is the felony committed here? It is a special complex crime of robbery with intentional mutilations. Again, the, the physical injuries here are limited to this kind of injury. Paragraph 5, if the violence or intimidation employed in the commission of robbery is carried to a degree clearly unnecessary for the commission of the crime. Meaning here, the robbery can be committed anywhere, uh, can be committed anyway, in spite that, uh, and that the, sorry, that the robbery can be carried anyway, and violence or intimidation are not necessary. So, we now proceed to paragraph 6. So when in the course of its execution, the offender shall have inflicted upon any person not responsible for the commission of the robbery, any of the physical injuries in consequence of which the person injured becomes deformed. 
here, you have to take note of the word deform. And he becomes incapacitated for the performance of the work in which he is habitually engaged or for more than 90 days or the person injured becomes ill or incapacitated for labor more than 30 days. So these are serious physical injuries. And paragraph 7, if the violence employed by the offender does not cause any of the serious physical injuries defined in Article 263, or if the offender employs intimidation only. So again, let me remind you that all the felonies mentioned in this article are a special complex crime. As a review, a special complex crimes are component crimes constituting a single indivisible offense, where the law provides a single penalty for two or more component offenses. The, the resulting crime is called a special complex crime. Some examples of these special complex crime mentioned in Revised Penal Code are the following Robbery with homicide, robbery with rape, kidnapping with serious physical injuries, kidnapping with murder homicide, and rape with homicide. In, in a special complex crime, the prosecution here must necessarily prove each of the component offenses with the same precision that would be necessarily if they were made the suspect of separate complaints. So as per RA 7659 amended under by R, amending Article 267 of the Revised Penal Code by adding there to this provision, when the victim is killed or dies as a consequence of the detention or is raped, or is subjected to torture or demonizing acts, the maximum penalty shall be imposed, and that this provision gives rise to a special complex crime. Again, it is a special complex crime if it is the law which provides the penalty. So, if you notice here in Article 294, these are all special complex crimes because it is the law, it is the article here that provides the special penalty for the said complex for the said special complex crime the reason that we are mentioning it as a special complex crime because we already know that there is also a term complex crime defined in article 48 but remember the complex crime is in article 48 and book 1 that we discuss that we discussed before are not in any way related to a special complex crime because if you check the here the definition of complex crime under Article 48, here it is. When a single act constitutes two or more grave or less grave felonies, or when an offense is a necessary means for committing the other, the penalty for the most serious crime shall be imposed and the same shall be applied to its maximum period. So an example of Complex crime when an offense is necessary means committing the other. Here we have here the staffa through falsification public document that is a a special uh, I mean a uh, simple a, a complex crime. So when a single act constitutes two or more grave. So when you throw here a hand grenade by throwing the hand grenade, it may result to homicide or physical injuries or or less physical injuries or other less grave felonies but this is not the but this is not the case of a special complex crime so in the case of people versus nga nasugan here the supreme court stated that the that article 48 defining complex crime does not apply to the crimes covered by article 294 the latter article or article 48 already provides us already provides a penalty for each kind of robbery with violence against persons in the first and fourth paragraph therefore thereof there is only one penalty prescribes even if the two crimes are committed and also article 48 applies only when a complex crime is not punished with a specific penalty on the occasion or by reason or the ra of the robbery, note the phrases on the occasion and by reason of this of robbery. This phrase means that the homicide or serious physical injuries 
in paragraphs 1 and 2 of Article 263 must be committed in the course of the felony because of robbery. So the crime of homicide committed on the occasion of robbery of the robbery where the victim was killed on the occasion or when the four accused taking the chickens under the house of the victim, the offense is robbery with homicide, not theft and homicide as in the case of people versus Mabasa. Therefore, it is a special complex crime. So let us now listen to the, to the report of Samuel Mercado. Case Digest on Robbery with Homicide People versus Solamilio, 404 Escra 211. Facts of the case: The accused men, Edgardo Ilarbe, Eddie Trumata, and appellant Julian Solamilio, work and live in the bakery owned by the victim, Alexander Giron. The other appellant, Liberato Solamilio, was also at the bakery in the afternoon on the day of the crime. The following day, the victim was found dead. After the commission of the crime, all four accused fled. Edgardo and Eddie to Lamitan, Basilan, Julian to Dumaguete City, and Liberato to Zamboanga City. When Liberato was arrested in Zamboanga City, the victim's wristwatch and wallet were found in his possession. Julian admitted that immediately after the victim was killed, he picked up the 995 pesos scattered on the bakery floor after Eddie and Edgardo ransack the drawers containing money. The issue of the case, whether the crime charge of robbery with homicide is proper. The ruling of the court. In the crime of robbery with homicide, a crime primarily classified as one against property and not against persons, the prosecution must firmly establish the following elements. First, the taking of personal property with the use of violence or intimidation against a person. Second, the property taken belongs to another. Third, the taking is with intent to gain or animus lucrandi. And fourth, on the occasion of the robbery or by reason thereof, homicide was committed. In this case, the prosecution amply established the said elements. Accused Julian's contention that he cannot be held liable for homicide because he only took the money but did not participate in the victim's killing is untenable. Also, Liberato's alibi did not overcome the presumption that a person found in possession of a thing taken in the doing of a recent wrongful act is the taker and the doer of the same act. What is essential in robbery with homicide is that there is a direct relation and intimate connection between the robbery and the killing, whether the latter be prior or subsequent to the former or whether both crimes be committed at the same time. The rule is well established that whenever homicide has been committed as a consequence of or on the occasion of robbery, all those who took part as principals in the robbery shall also be held guilty as principals of the special complex crime of robbery with homicide. Whether or not they actually participated in the killing unless it clearly appears that they endeavored to prevent the homicide.